Hi, how are you? Today I'm going to draw a nice home appliance, which is a jug. And uh, let's start the drawing. First, we start from the top. Let's draw the top like this. It's a freehand drawing, you know. In this case, you don't need any instruments or any other supporting things. In the beginning, you need little practice so that when you draw anything, the lines you draw it becomes as straight as possible. That's how you are drawing going to look very nice all right you can see here the collar and other parts of the jugs let's draw another straight line like this and a single line we are going to draw it's not totally vertical it's little inclined to the left also this side it's like a mirror and going to inclined to the right two sides is equally proportionate and we're going to connect these two points Another point we are going to connect like this. Another point is here. Okay. And the bottom of the glass. And the, for this jog, this is visual. And as you know, this is made of glass. So it's visible inside and outside uh, we can put few racks like this to outline the shadows and uh, show the reflections lights and shades for other purpose we're going to make this drawing and trying to make this drawing as realistic as possible This is the handle at the side. This is also made with glass. So the whole outline it's completed. Now we are going to uh, put some shades and shadows. Let's start from the top. A perfect shade and shadows can make a drawing really really nice and lively sometimes the drawings becomes like the real picture as you can see it's a nice environment here it's a shiny day although this is a winter time but the sun shines it feels good it's comfortable okay To the left border side, we are going to put some shades and shadows to provide the reflections and the description of the passing lights through the glass from one side to the another side. That's why we are putting the dark shades to the ends of these two corners, connecting all the way to the bottom to the top. Because if you follow the reflection points, that has some visual impacts, you know.
All right. Now let's work with the right side. As you know, drawing it's a sophisticated things. So when you uh, put the shades and shadows, just have your patience, take your time, do the details as good as you can do. And show that the drawing is going to be really nice and lively. We always try to make as realistic as possible. In case of the sketch and shadings, this is very important and vital to show the real drawings and the real shades and shadows. That's how the drawing becomes very nice. Now we are going to draw the handles here. Okay. The right is light is usually reflects and it's darker at the bottom and one side is darker and the other side is lighter because the light source usually the light source is either on the left side or on the right side or on top uh, you know so this only one side is lighted and the other side that's why going to be the darker one <clears throat> I hope you are liking the instructions. If you follow the steps, the drawing is going to be real nice. And the sketch or the paintings, whatever you do, that's going to be very good and really, really like the real painting or the real photo. Now let's make the bottom a little depth in shades, little darker. All right. The uniform shades portions from the top, as you can see, this is almost done. Okay, as you know, the jug this is on a surface. Let's make the drawing little lively and put some colors only for the environment and the top part of the surface on which the jog is. We have put the jog on which surface. All right. So you can see the drawing is really nice. It doesn't take much time, that's not much tough or much harder. All right, so I hope you like the video. This is the drawing. Please do the practice and as you like the videos, please subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.